guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's recipe idea, I am doing a dessert and I am gonna be sharing with you a delicious creme caramel recipe. So this recipe is actually something that my mum always makes and whenever she says up to her guests, they are always like so impressed with it and always ask for the recipe. So I thought I would share it with you guys and hopefully when you make it as well and set up to your guests, they will be just as impressed. If you're new to my channel and you're watching this video for the first time, I would love for you to subscribe. I post loads of different foodie content on my channel and every single Sunday at 7 a.m. UK time, I post a brand new video like this, a recipe idea. So if you're new here, then I would love for you to press that red button down below. Also head on over to my Instagram because I post loads of different food and things over there too. And um, yeah, more of my like daily life over there as well. So for this recipe, you are going to need some eggs, some milk, some condensed milk, some brown sugar, and some vanilla essence too. What you're also going to need is a big baking tray, so you kind of make it like a bambouree, and then I have got one of these, but you can actually use so many different trays to cook your creme caramels in. So obviously this would make one portion, or you can make one big one that my mum often does. The only thing you need to make sure is that this will fit into your baking tray. As long as it does, then you can use whatever you like. So the first thing that you want to do is set your oven to 150 degrees. You want to fill up your baking tray with water and pop it into the oven to let the water warm up. As you can see, you're going to be cooking your creme caramels in the water. This just makes sure that the um, creme caramel is being cooked all the way around, but also make sure it's being cooked really kind of slowly all the way around. That's why you have the temperature quite low. So the first thing you want to do is make your kind of like gooey, dark um, creme caramel topping. So you want to get some brown sugar and you also want to have a little bit, 60 ml of water too. First things first, we're going to get the brown sugar on the hob and melt it down. Right, so you want to melt half a cup of brown sugar and then once that has melted down, you want to really slowly add in your hot water. So when you add in your hot water, you need to be really careful because it will spit back up at you because the sugar will be so very hot. So add it in at the side and like I said, really slowly and keep on whisking to let it all combine together. See, I told you it spits up, so you have to be really, really careful. So now it's still bubbling away really, really nicely. So you want to just pour some of your mixture in each of your containers here and then give it a really good swirl around to try and coat all the way around each compartment. Right, so while that cools, you just want to set it to one side and let it cool. You want to add into your bowl six eggs, one tin of condensed milk, and then once you've used this tin of condensed milk, you then want to get your, you need full fat milk for this, so you want to get your full fat milk and then fill this tin up twice and pour that in. That way, whatever size tin you have here, you know that you are having the right measurements, so that's how I do it. And then you want one teaspoon of your vanilla extract and then you just want to whisk everything together up until you make it into a nice kind of like fluffy-ish um, consistency. Right, so once your mixture is nice and beaten up and everything's combined together, you then, this bit is um, a little bit fiddly, but you can either just pour it straight into here, but I just find that if I do that, I ruin the sugar layer that I've already made. So I get myself a ladle and a spoon and I ladle a bit out and then I pour it over the spoon to the side of the container just to make sure that it doesn't break the nice kind of sugar base that we have just made. Once you're happy with them, you want to pop them into the oven, keep it at 150 and you want to put them in there in the water for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, you want to take your creme caramels out of the oven and also take them out of the water to cool. You don't want to keep them in the water, otherwise they will carry on cooking and then you'll just spoil them. So once they're nice and cool, you can either serve them up straight away or you can keep them in the fridge until you're ready to serve them to your guests. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you give this a try and I will see you again next week. Bye guys.